Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on the video of the Jordan Mello M9. I'll give you guys a quick look at the label here on the box. The pair I have here is obviously a size 9.5 US and the colorway is white, white, game royal, and black. I don't believe that this colorway has officially released yet. I know it's released at a few places, which is where I got mine, but I don't know if it's on all of the major retailers just yet. I know that Mello has worn them in game already, so it's not exactly like a never before seen colorway, but it might be a little bit early. I'm not sure 100% on that though. So I'll give you guys a look at these shoes. And I've been a big fan of the Mello M9. I just don't think that they've released any colorways that have been all that great up until this one. I really like this colorway, very simple, very straightforward, and I think it just looks really, really good. As far as the colorway on the M9 goes, um, basically this one features a predominantly white upper. As you guys can see, it's like a white synthetic leather material. It has a leather finish, but it is in fact a full synthetic upper on here. There's no leather or natural materials being used. Then you have that synthetic material with the fly wire here running through the um, entirety of the upper in that synthetic material kind of has like a shiny finish to it and of course it has the M for mellow which again looks pretty cool and it has some performance features as well um, of course you do have the blue mesh on the upper there's not really a tongue it's kind of like an internal boot on the shoe and it really wraps your foot it's hard to show you guys but it's like a whole internal boot which is really unusual you can't actually pull the tongue all the way out which I personally really like I think it gives the shoe a unique look um, you have this little bit of like uh, synthetic material here with Mello uh, written in and his logo right there. Again, very, very cool. I like the little cutout here in the tongue. This shoe reminds me very much of kind of like the LeBron 10s in a way. Um, but again, it just has a really clean look to it, which is something that I'm a big fan of. Of course, all the liner here is um, kind of that same game royal blue. Really does look good. You have, like I said, you can see that internal boot on the inside. The insole, I believe, is like an orange or a red with a white Jumpman. Not sure how great you guys can see that the lighting's pretty bad. And then the rest of the shoe is gonna just have black and white accents throughout. You have obviously the black midsole with the zoom unit in the heel that has a little blue around the each visible zoom unit section, kind of little cut out there so you can see the inside. And then of course on the back, you do have that patent leather with some kind of like fingerprint. I, I assume it's not actually patent leather. It's most likely some kind of synthetic but there's some kind of like fingerprint graphic going on there. And then of course you have the stitched in Jumpman logo as well. And the same thing goes on at the toe. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, probably not on camera, but there's some kind of like little pattern. It's not necessarily a fingerprint, but there's like these little lines going through, which I think looks really, really good. And you can only see it up close in person. You do have this supported plastic shank here on the outside. Um, kind of has like this pebbled texture on it. I'm not sure what you would call it. Uh, but again, kind of looks pretty cool in my opinion. Then of course you can see you have some of the white peeking out from the sole itself. You have number seven here at the toe. And then on the back you have the Mellow logo again as you guys can see right there. We flip it to the bottom, you have a predominantly white outsole on here. Mellow signature right there. And then of course you have this one little piece in uh, that orange. That's actually a second zoom unit. So you have the one in the heel which you can see is visible right there. And then you have the zoom unit sitting basically on the base of the sole. It raises a little bit out of the shoe if you guys can see that. I believe it's supposed to be 1.5 millimeters. So not very much, but it does raise a little bit. Um, zoom unit, if you don't know, it's basically like a really low profile cushioning system. Nike uses it or Jordan brand uses it on a lot of their shoes. It is the same company after all. And like I said, you have this herringbone pattern all the way through. And then this one little kind of cutout through in the middle where you can see there is like a supportive shank running through in that blue. It is a hard plastic on the inside. But that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing portion of this video goes. And we'll move on to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea of what these guys look like. All right, here's a look at the M9s on feet while wearing a pair of shorts. I have them laced up two different ways. One I left unlaced. The other one I tied up kind of loosely, but it is tied up. Again, it depends on how you like to wear them. I think they look good either way. You can get away with wearing these unlaced because there is no physical tongue. Like I said, it's just like an internal boot, so it holds your foot in place really, really well. And uh, as far as wearing these with shorts go, I think they look really, really good. Obviously, they are a pair of basketball shoes, so they're uh, made to be worn with a pair of shorts. But again, however you want to wear them, there's lots of colorways out already. So it's just a matter of picking the pair that you like to wear with a pair of shorts. That's pretty much it as far as what they look like with shorts, and we'll move on to what they look like with pants next. With a pair of pants, I think the M9s look really great. Again, I have them laced up two different ways, and it has, while it is a performance shoe and it has a very modern look to it, at the same time, it still has that classic Jordan brand look, which you really can't go wrong with. 
especially in this particular colorway, classic white with the black and blue accents, I think look really, really good. And they are available in a, quite a few different colors right now. So if you do want to pick one that matches your own personal style, you do have that opportunity. As far as comfort goes, they're very, very comfortable pair of shoes. Like I said, they are a performance model. But as far as casual wear goes, like I said, they're going to be super comfortable to wear around. And sizing is definitely true to size if you want a tighter fit. They're a tighter fitting shoe than they might look like they are. Um, they appear to be pretty wide, but on feet, they're pretty snug. I'm wearing my usual size 9.5. And like I said, the fit is pretty snug. So if you do want a more loose fit, definitely go up half a size. Um, I'll give you guys a quick look at the details on the shoe because they are really cool looking. Depending on how tight you lace up the sneakers, those kind of flywire strands, that M, really tightens up and changes the look of the upper ever so slightly. Um, but that's pretty much it as far as the on feet portion of this video goes, and I'll leave you to my final thoughts. Alright guys, that's it for my review plus on feet video of the Jordan Mellow M9. Really big fan of the shoe, I think it looks really good, and it's really comfortable to wear as well. If you would like to purchase one of these for yourself, I will have buy it now links to all the latest colorways that are currently available on the review page of my website, which you can find linked down below in the description. On that same review page, you're gonna find the high quality images of this exact pair as well to give you a better idea as to how it actually does look in person. So go ahead and check that out if that does interest you at all. If you have any questions regarding this shoe or have any suggestions for shoes you would like to see me bring in, feel free to leave a comment down below and if you could leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel already and you did enjoy today's video, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more sneaker reviews as well as some lifestyle gear reviews. I want to bring in some training stuff as well as even some watches and some headphones, which uh, if you're interested in that, like I said, hit that subscribe button. One last thing, I do have an Instagram as well if you want to follow me there. My Instagram is Vujo Josh, just like this channel name, minus the two. You can go ahead and look me up or again, the link can be found down below in the description. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.